to you for the evening based on PPT relationships. I will begin with a simple phase diagram as illustrated here. As shown in the simple phase diagram, we have the solid, liquid, and gaseous regions. This point illustrated here is known as the triple point. The triple point is where solid, liquid, and gas come together and coexist together. It is usually at a particular temperature and a particular pressure. Moving on in the diagram, we have the critical point. The critical point specifies the conditions of temperature and pressure and sometimes composition at which a phase boundary ceases to exist. The critical point is the point at which saturated liquid and saturated vapor states are identical. Phase of the presentation, I would now like to explain phase changes in order for you to gain a better understanding. As explained earlier, a pure substance is a substance that has a fixed chemical composition throughout and can exist in either the solid, liquid, or gaseous phase. To gain a better understanding of the phase change process, we are now going to use a piston cylinder device containing water at 20 degrees Celsius and one atmosphere as shown in the figure illustrated here. In state one, as illustrated here, Water exists in the liquid phase and it is referred to as a compressed liquid or a subcooled liquid, meaning that it is about to vaporize. The pressure in the cylinder is maintained at one atmosphere and the heating sensor depends on atmospheric and weight of the piston, both of which are constant. Okay, so over here I am going to label this as my compressed liquid phase. Moving on to state 2, eventually the temperature of the water would reach to 100 degrees Celsius. At this point, it is called a saturated liquid because it is about to vaporize. This is now in the saturated liquid state. So, state 2, I'm going to label this as my saturated liquid state. And inside of state 2, we have saturated liquid. Okay. More of the liquid would continue to vaporize at state 3 and as we continue to add heat, all of the liquid would eventually vaporize at state 4. So we're now focusing on state 3 and 4 and at state 4, the liquid will eventually vaporize. The vapor is called a saturated vapor. So I'm going to label this as my saturated vapor. Just as a reminder, a saturated vapor is a vapor which is on the verge of condensing. A substance between state 2 and 4 is often referred to as a saturated liquid mixture where liquid and vapor phases coexist in equilibrium. So between states 2 and 4, we could possibly have the saturated liquid vapor mixture. Once the phase change process is completed, a further transfer of heat results in a high temperature vapor which is not about to condense. This is called a superheated vapor and this is found here at the state 5 region. Finally, I'm going to explain what is saturation temperature and saturation pressure. At a given pressure, the temperature at which a substance starts boiling is referred to as a saturation temperature. Likewise, at a given temperature, the pressure at which a pure substance starts boiling is called a saturation pressure. This concludes the end of our presentation for tutorials. Two, question one, based on PBT relationship.